Hey guys, and welcome back to Call of Mine. Before I start, I just want to say thank you so much for the amount of support that I got in the first episode. It is absolutely incredible. I really, really appreciate it. So, let's get into this. So, I have not been well for the last week and a bit, so I've progressed. I haven't been able to record much, but um, I have been doing a lot of work, so I'll just go through what I've done. Uh, during that time. So I've started doing the interior of my house. It's still um, It still looks like I've just moved in because there's boxes everywhere, but hey That will be sorted out eventually <laughs> Well, you have got my kitchen set up so I've got lots of uh, my food is stored away These need to be filled up and I've got beer brewing stuff started. I've got wine because yeah. All of these are sorted into little categories. We've got all of my horse stuff here. We've got mob drops. I will be getting back to this one in, in a moment. Uh, and yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Obviously, a lot of work still needs to be done. Got it. Okay, that makes it easy. We got a little uh, bedroom coming up along here. We've got Sergeant Bork Bork in there. I've separated him because Rusty. Oh, wait, that was Rusty's. Um, Rusty, come here. I went for a snowy wolf. Uh, fox. No wolf. I went for a snowy fox for Rusty this time. Um, just because when I found him, he was sitting so nicely and he was so cute and he didn't run away when I was. Uh, near him so i thought okay this is rusty rusty's a very special fox so you know he had to be um he had to be this one so we got rusty uh and we've got aelin and ayla oh we actually got that the right way around so we've got the two allays from wildcraft so they're the mascots from wildcraft if you haven't guessed i am trying to get every single possible mascot i possibly can into the into this uh, series. So that's where the iron golem egg is gonna come into play a bit later so we're gonna get that in. Uh, we do have these two. Um, one of them is Humphrey Carl von Nevinson. For some reason I wanted a really fancy sounding camel because <laughs> why not? <laughs> I just wanted one. <laughs> and then the other one. Uh, you guys can name him or her. You can name that one. If you have any name suggestions for the camel, put them down in the in the, in the comments down below. I'm open to suggestions. And then down here, I as you can see, I've done a bit of terraforming down here. Uh, quite a bit of terraforming actually, because I literally just cut out that entire corner there. Uh, so it's looking pretty now. And I do have a beacon, so I'm going to put that down there as well. This is not by far the biggest terraforming project I've done and I'll show you very shortly. And in here I've got my villagers. Uh, <laughs> what's happening here? <laughs> Why are you there? <laughs> it's the weirdest place that you can possibly be. <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. Yeah, I mentioned before the biggest terraforming project so far and that is this. Doesn't look like much, does it? But if I come down here... It's a bit more impressive. So... <laughs> yep, yeah, we have a massive archway connecting our bit of the house over there to what I am going to be working on today, the farms. So, yeah, this took quite a bit of work. I could have done a replay of it, but, but by the time that I remember to do a replay of it, I'd already been like halfway through. Trust me, my brain has just been filled, like fueled with snot over the last few weeks. So <laughs> I apologize about that. But as I said, I'm going to be working over here on the farm today. So you're not going to miss out on any terraforming work from me today. So hopefully I can make this look a little bit more pleasant because right now it's not very attractive. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna work on this today and um, 
something else we also need to bring in our first mascot from the series which is going to be my very first mascot on any of my channels and that is gary gary the iron golem so i'm gonna bring him in really quickly so gary is the very first mascot i've ever had and yeah i thought well what's more suitable than having gary as my first mascot on here as well that you're seeing me actually put in because obviously i've got rusty ayla and ayla uh we got luna I'm, i've moved luna she is uh down here see so we got we got luna down here next to the, the wine racks but hey <laughs> We're gonna get a bit of a boozy panda. Uh, where should I put Gary? I might actually put him down with Luna. Luna needs protecting. So I'm gonna put Gary down here as well. Yep, boozy Gary. There we go. We have Gary now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go into a little time lapse of me transforming the farm. Uh, I don't really have a plan, I'm just gonna wing it like I usually do with terraforming. Let's turn this into something a little bit prettier. <laughs> Here we have the finished farm. It's looking a little bit messy still, but and there's still obviously a lot of work to do because I want to add loads of crops to this area. And then we've got uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer around like the path and stuff. And I'm not too happy about this, but I'll see if I can grow to it a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah, I have made all of these berries. So the berries guys it took so long to collect i have got all 69 berries here which is crazy and that i've put them in alphabetical order so i actually know where each one is so i've got two at the front uh, two at the front two at the back and oh my god that was a pain just to get all these berries it took a considerable amount of time to get all of these berries and um, I almost went insane, I think, on a few occasions. So, <laughs> uh, and yeah, that was fun. And we've got some automatic create farms. I am not going to show, no idea what's happening right there. I'm not, I'm not going to show them being made today, but they will be shown how they were made in the next episode, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, um, a big thanks to Sandy because she set up this one and then I went on to doing the other two as well. And it all gets uh, collected down here. So we've got the wheat farm, which needs sorting. Just do that. Uh, we've got the mint farm and then we have the rice farm because the rice farm is down here. Seriously, what is happening here? I'm so confused. That is, yeah, that's the farm's done to uh, some extent. Obviously, as I said, gotta get the paths in. That is a um, a new friend of mine. Uh, this is Jim. He's he's great. He's he's a really good friend. Uh, I will show you the clip of uh, me meeting Jim 
in a second so because that's quite funny it's quite comical so yeah we'll uh, we'll get on to that now <laughs> My game is slowing down, I don't know why. <laughs> we've we've died enough today. Yeah, you wanna try it one more time? And fly? No, fly to I the just... moon! We we we've died a lot and in the company and in Minecraft. Come here. I want to fly. <laughs> He's gonna hoe you. Hoe me? What the fuck? Yeah, give me, Why give me you your sword. Me? I'll, I'll smack you. Cause I want you to wanna kill me? <laughs> give me your sword. Ow. Then you smack you. Yeah, you go oh, flying no. in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Where are you? <laughs> Why did you hit me? <laughs> okay, look. Sadly, did I survived the fall last time. You do this and hit, and you will go to the moon. <laughs> this was not on my agenda for uh -oh. today. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> uh, can you take out your milk tank, please? I want to squeeze its udder. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds gross, dude. <laughs> China, what the hell? Something wrong with you, dude. <laughs> Why do you guys say things differently? Really? I don't know. There is something called the accents. Yep. Yeah, that, Anybody okay. wants to make music? My ears are going to burst. Come here, Sandy, join us. This. Ow! Oh, shoot, I'm on a heart and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I stop, Sandy, stop killing him. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, Sandy, that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded more even than me. <laughs> Bo was happy to kill me. She was like, <laughs> it's like she was waiting for her whole life. And before I finish, we have some Christmas stuff because obviously it's Christmas. So what I've done over here, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Over here, I've made a little uh, gift giving thing. Oh, you're welcome, Sandy. So obviously some of them have already gotten their gifts already. So I've gotten... I've given a gift to each of the members on the server and each of them have got their own chest so they will get their own present. So Sandy's obviously gotten hers already. So you're welcome Sandy. Yeah, that is what I have done. And it appears I have received some gifts as well. So we're going to go and look at them as well. Sorry, I'm just moving the camels out of the way. I need to get a new home for them. I am going to make a, uh, a stable at some point. So maybe in the next episode, I don't know. We'll get a, we'll get a stable for them. I've also got my horse in here as well, which uh, needs a home as well. I don't really want it in my house. <laughs> Stuff would just be a bit weird. Hey, I'm just going to have a horse in my house. But yeah. I have gotten two presents here. So one from Isaac and one from Potato. So we're going to look at Potato's first. So he's going to be an Ocelot Traveler's Backpack. And what have we got inside? Let's just have a look. Ooh, lots of stuff. We got some diamond blocks, netherite, buried <laughs> treasure, nether stars, totem of undying, and loads of po uh, common stones, which is very nice, very helpful. The amazing cat. Let's have a read. Okay, this is this is for private. This is for private. Thank you, potato. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got we got Isaacs now. Merry Christmas to my favorite space cat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. A quadricopter! Thank you! So now we can do some, like, building. You can do some building stuff. I don't know how you... Go up. I'll work that out. <laughs> I'll work that out soon. Don't worry. Thank you, Isaac and Potato, for the gifts. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna leave the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate the amount of support that you've given me for the first episode. And I hope, I hope I get the same for this episode. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I'm gonna leave it there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection.